Hey, thanks for tuning in, YouTube Nation. This is Nate from Griddle Guys. Doing a big breakfast today, Lumberjack special. Um, got a bunch of hungry kids waiting to eat. So, ingredient roundup, pretty straightforward. What you normally get at a diner, we get English muffins we're gonna grill, eggs, corned beef hash. <laughs> There's one of the hungry kids. Uh, hash brown potatoes, three pounds of break bacon, some sausage from our local butcher shop. Uh, anyone who wants to make a breakfast sandwich, we got rolls for that. So. Let's get uh, cooking. Should be fun. Yeah, well, first time we use this, so we'll see how that goes. Works out well. We'll do a uh, we'll do a separate review on it. That's a bun butterer. So you'll see how once the butter melts, how we how it works. But you basically take your bun and roll it across that, and it butters it for you. Yeah, but the you, amount of food we got today and muffins, we'll probably need it. <laughs> so that's why we got it. Hopefully, it does work. Toasted buns make a big difference. It tastes a hell of a lot better. We should say we're on location today. We come to Don's house. He's been very kind. He's got a, a black stone. Uh, say hello, uh, Don. Hi. Uh, as long as I stay out of their way and not create a shadow on the griddle. You guys are doing great. <laughs> Thank you for having us. So the key to the cook here is the order of stuff of what you cook. The bacon takes the longest and we want the bacon fat cooked with the home fries in, the shredded potatoes. So basically we have to do the bacon first, the potatoes second, the hash third, and uh, probably split the griddle, keep half on lower off, just to keep that stuff warm while we finish up the eggs, or do the eggs, because we got people that want omelets, people that want over easy, um, people that want scrambled melted cheese. So plan that if you're gonna do a big cook like this, right? Yes. And the bacon also stays the best, as far as off to the side, it stays nice and warm, and it stays nice and crisp. I don't think we're getting three pounds, bro. Not with the butter maker. Even without it. <laughs> uh, I think we would. Yeah? Yeah. Do you want some seasoning for the potatoes? Yeah. I usually do like... Salt, pepper. I usually do season it all or Mrs. Dash. Or just want salt and pepper. Whatever. So, Jeff, you're get, getting ready. Almost, bacon's almost done. Putting that just off to the side. And we're getting ready to put on the... Uh, Ash browns. Ash browns. Well, Nate sits on his butt over there. Working hard. <laughs> Working hard. We should introduce Dave. Dave. No. Say hello no. to YouTube. <laughs> Dave's house as well. This is Dave. Yeah. Welcome, welcome to us. the griddle. <laughs> you can edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> These are the pre-cut hash browns. Pretty much get them in any market. These are uh, frozen. We also sell uh, some of the non frozen section. Hey, I'm working. I'm working. Yeah, he's got up. We're throwing that right on the, the bacon, the bacon grease. Get a little flavor from that. Um, bring out the bottle of oil. I don't know if you might have to throw a little oil on, yeah. on there. I don't worry, Nate. I won't ask you to go get it. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked. I thought it was back here. <laughs> and for some reason, some people like their bacon cooked really well in this location. I'm not going to name any names, but that's what that's all about. <laughs> Let's just say that they were allergic to shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> well, so it's not me then. No, it's not you. Not you. Not the deathly allergic. It has something against lobster. <laughs> <laughs> All set in here? Yeah. Dave, flip it. It's gonna uh rim to rim, yeah. Cover that. <coughs> uh, you know, the way they played last game, yeah, how can you not? So I'll tell you, this no, is no, the game Ron. they should win. Is Gronk out for the season? Like Dave? Don no, retired? Today. The game they should win? But those are the games that they I usually do. I get worried. Those are the games that usually get us hot acorn. Yes, exactly.
Jeff, I have a new name for your daughter. Oh yeah? Ms. Rabella. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's good. It works. What do we got the grill on? Do we got to turn it up a little bit? Hi. Yeah, it's the wind. It's you know, 30 it. degrees out in the wind howling, so. Home fries took, uh, hash browns took longer than we thought. It's a windy day, it's kind of cool out, and uh, we've been at this, what do you say, Chris? 15, 20 15, minutes? 20 minutes, yeah. yeah. They've browned up, but, you know, we were thinking they were going to be done in like 10, and uh, they're not. Not the end of the world, though. <laughs> all right, all right, get the hash on. Coming up next is, uh, what do we get after this? Sausages. The sausages and then the eggs. Well, we'll do it, probably do the buns next. Well, the sausages, we can throw the sausages on, cook them, stack them up. Yep. <laughs> I'm getting all this with documentary. <laughs> do we have two of these or just one? Two of them. The rise and fall of the griddle guys. <laughs> it all happened at five, all, five Alston Drive. <laughs> so, Jeff, you want to stay where you're at right now? Uh, we got the home fries or hash browns, buddy, yet. Have a nice crisp on them, nice sear. We'll get the backside cooking right now. We're trying to do the same thing with our corned beef hash. Um, we all like it really crispy, so kind of like it like some sausage patties. And then once the sausage patties are done, we'll put those off to the side. We'll start doing our uh, rolls, and we'll take our individual orders for the eggs. That way everybody has what they want. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, that's no, great. You don't like crispy, how huh? you prefer softer? I, like I said, I like it both ways. If I make it for like myself, preference I do a softer, but I have it both ways. Like so, I go to a restaurant, I just give whatever they right. You know what? Just post this without editing it. <laughs> Mate, what <laughs> were you <laughs> saying about you want to <laughs> Three, two, one. Alright, three, two, one. Here we go. Let's see what it looks like before you throw it on. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Buttered the whole thing. That's a beauty. We got the corned beef hash nice and crispy. We got the sausage warmed up and browned, and these hash browns look beautiful. So we're going to start pulling off and making our uh, individual egg orders. That way we can keep everybody happy. We got bacon, hash browns, good to go. So we're doing uh, individual orders. We got two omelets. We're just going to show you how to do that. Everybody else wants uh, scrambled eggs and cheese. So. Here we go with the omelets. And then a few over here. Got a little butter down, left over from our butter roller. That's not one omelet, that's a big one. A little pepper for the omelet? Yes, sir. Yeah. One cheese, one bacon. One cheese, one bacon. One cheese and bacon. Nice. We get the bacon warming up again over there. So with this, it comes out pretty thin. So it kind of cooks from one side. You can pretty much just do that and fold it in. Put some cheese in. Good. So, why don't we just throw a scrambled on? Get those going. Get the rest. And we got a couple over easy, right? Yeah. I think we just do the rest over easy. Mm -hmm. I know I'll have one. I'll have one. 
we give you a point. Any special technique with the scrambled eggs, guys? Slow. Let them set up a little bit, pour them slow. And this is about 12 eggs right here. Perfect. <laughs> well, that's an omelet. Yeah. Somebody else want cheese on their uh, over easy eggs? Yes. Otherwise, we're out of cheese. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> you get any more cheese in the house, Dave? You get slices of cheese? Yeah. I don't think anybody wants it on their over easy eggs. I do. Oh, you do? <laughs> really? You want cheese on an over easy egg? That's why I was pointing it out. I figured there's one weirdo in the group. <laughs> we found them. <laughs> we found them. Uh, yeah, when we go get it. Yeah, because I put my sausage over my <laughs> over my egg. Wow, well, I don't want to bring it out. They might get mad. <laughs>